It is the dope dad himself, Rico the Meat. Oh yeah, Jason, I'm gonna switch up the lighting a little bit for uh, for the story. Set the mood right. <laughs> get everything's uh, get everything popping here in uh, the Suave House. So uh, um, my story today is coming out of Western Massachusetts, and with, with uh, retail lo- locations popping up everywhere in Massachusetts now, it's a tall task for aspiring operators to find a unique angle that'll draw in new customers and keep them loyal. But a, power, a pair of entrepreneurs in Western Mass claim that they found the key to shaking things up in the sea of dispensary dullness. Club Castaway, Franklin County's only strip club, shut its doors March 2020 after the state issued an emergency order to close non-essential businesses at the height of America's pandemic paranoia. It's, ex- it's expected to reopen for the first time since within the next two months. But instead of keeping business as usual with all the cliches of dark rooms and heavy beats, booze and boobs. Revolutionary owners Nick Spagnolia and Julia Sokol plan to literally set the topless entertainment industry ablaze with an updated vision for the local hotspot. By adding a little weed to the equation, the duo actually appeared before the select board last week to share plans over the next year to transition Club Castaway into what could possibly be the world's first legal topless dispensary and we're leaning towards cannabis with a twist there are a lot of dispensaries open and you need to be niche to be successful spagnolia said castaways as a strip club would be no more per the article club castaways adult entertainment and alcohol licenses are still active clearing the way for the business to open this door in november but the business posted on facebook they are seeking bartenders and a club manager but there is a twist the recent acquisition by Spagnola and Sokol of Shine Diamond LLC, a local dispensary permitted in the same county, gave the entrepreneurs the idea to merge the two lanes into one. Of course, legal hurdles remain for the partners to make the idea a reality, but they believe the process is simple enough and their positive track record with the local community and connections in the cannabis industry will bring them across the finish line quicker than naysayers think. If a change of location request with the State Cannabis Control Commission is approved, They'll need to appear before the Zoning Board of Appeals to get a special permit to change the official building use filing. Sokol already has CCC licenses in good standing for dispensaries in eastern Massachusetts. And Spagnola said that they request to amend their adult entertainment license and remove dancing and uh, to have topless service only. The final step would be removing their alcohol license and they technically be good to go. We do have some experience on the cannabis side and some on the nudity side. We could bring cannabis tourism to town. We want to replace this nightclub scene and alcohol with something that is harmless in comparison. You see, these guys, they're visionaries. They're truly looking out for the community. So select board member Juliana Wagner had questions. It could certainly be a little mellower, but I do have to ask, who is going to be topless? Without directly answering the question, Spagnola replied, it may surprise you, but we've never had a shortage of employees who, who wanted to work at Castaways. We're confident we could create a protocol for safe working environment for all of them. Select board chair uh, member, uh, select board chair Joyce Palmer Fortune thanked the duo for updating the town on their business plans and noted that there are a lot of legal questions ahead of them. Mission accomplished, gentlemen. You've updated us on your plans and what they are. We're not really the last word here on this anyways. And she drifted off with a slight smirk on his face. Fellow select board member and notably the only dude in the room, Fred Barron, said that they'd revisit all the requirements when they have firmer plans to discuss. (laughs) Sounds like Club Castaway Cannabis just secured their first loyal customer. And uh, while it's a polarizing business idea for several obvious reasons, uh, but in an increasingly saturated field full of copycat retailers, standing out from the crowd is key to success. And I think it's safe to say that these guys have found their hook. But I want to hear from the rest of y'all. This is Rico Limit, the dopest dad on the street. This is Hyatt Nine News. What do you think, Jason? Would you go to uh, get your weed from some topless 